Danny is here. He's going to give us a little history, right, Danny, of uh, tornadoes in the Southland. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Dallas. Yeah, like you said, you know, they're, they're not uncommon in Southern California at all. But here's one to talk about. March 1st, 1983, an F2 tornado struck South Los Angeles. Now, that one traveled four miles. Sadly, nine people were killed. More than 100 structures were damaged. The tornado causing itself $25 million in damage. So that, of course, very, very probably the most destructive one we've had before. Now, uh, in the past, there have been nine smaller tornadoes in L.A. County in the past 20 years. In 2005, there was a small tornado at the Palmdale Airport. Two years later, there was uh, another EF0 in Lancaster. 2014, there was a small tornado in South L.A. again. Then another small tornado in Llano out there in the high desert as well. In 2023, four small tornadoes right there in Cerritos, Montebello, Compton, and the Compton Airport. And that leads us to the F. EF0 tornado in Pico Rivera that we had early this morning. Now, National Weather Service surveyed the damage in Pico today, and they want to make sure the community is prepared in case it happens again. The Los Angeles basin is actually what we see has the frequency of tornadoes, typically small and weak, although there have been stronger tornadoes to occur, that rivals portions of the Midwest, actually where we get a very unique combination of atmospheric spin, moisture coming off the Pacific Ocean, and the types of weather systems around the mountains that are able to favor a repeatable pattern of tornadoes. And so the main message is that folks need to be ready, folks need to be prepared. Yeah, we can get all kinds of weather here in Southern California. We have it, and yes, that includes tornadoes. 